Hello everybody and welcome to the three builds for March 2016, that's $600 build, the $1,000 build, and $1,500 builds here at NoobComputerBuild.com. Uh, just a quick overview, the $600 build is generally for those that want to game at 1080p uh, fairly well, and the $1,000 build is for those that want to pretty much max out any game at 1080p and kind of dabble into 2560 by 1440 resolutions. And the $1,500 build is for those that pretty much want to do everything and even dabble into 4K should they want to. But keep in mind, if you want to do 4K, you'll probably need to do SLI or Crossfire uh, if you want to really max out games in 4K, that is. Alright, let's get started. The $1,500 build for March 2016. Uh, the processor we have is the Intel Core i5 6600K. It comes out at $249.99 right now. You may notice if you've been keeping track of, or keeping up with these builds month to month, that the builds this month are, have actually gone down in price overall, so they're actually a really good purchase right now. And my recommendation is if you were going to purchase last month's builds, uh, this month they're, they're even cheaper, so uh, why not? Uh, the cooler we have, since we need a cooler, uh, a stock cooler does not come with uh, the 6600K, is this Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo 2974 right now. Uh, the motherboard we have is this Gigabyte uh, GA's uh, Z170X, the Gaming 5 motherboard for $166.99. The graphics card, the real power driver for this $1500 build, is this uh, Gigabyte G Force GTX 980 Ti, uh, overclocked edition uh, a card in this case, $629.99. Uh, and then the RAM, we have some DDR4 16GB kit of 28GB sticks of Kingston HyperX Fury Black, $69.99, which is really affordable for DDR4 uh, 16GB kit now, so it has gone out of price. Um, for the hard drive, we have two, not two, sorry, I have left out a uh, hard disk drive, as you can see here, it's not included. We have an SSD, $87, Samsung 850 Evo, 250GB version. If you want more space than that, you can bump it up to the 500 gigabyte version, which is a little more expensive as well. Or you could add a hard disk drive for not very much, about well, $50 for about a terabyte, and you can use that to store most of your uh, bigger files, such as media or a larger game. But this will be much better for boot and load times uh, using the SSD, that is. Power supply we have is the EVGA Supernova 750G2. It's a gold rated power supply, fully modular. Uh, it's actually really awesome. I really like this one. $99.99. And the computer case we have this month is Corsair Carbide Clear 400C. Actually the very same one as I, I included last month. I usually try to switch them up to give you a clear idea uh, as to the variety of cases. But uh, to me this is a very nice newly released case. So and it comes out to $111.14. Um, and this build this month, like I said, it has gone out in price. So the $1,500 build that you can actually get for $1,437. Uh, at the start of March here in 2016. Um, and you can even save a little more because this case I usually include one that's a little cheaper. So if you wanted to search around for cases or comment below, uh, I can give you some suggestions, but you can save probably a few bucks there too. All right, moving on to some alternatives for this build. Should you have more to spend, which there's a little buffer room this month, uh, or if you want some upgrade suggestions for the future, uh, such as this, if you want an i7-6700K, also unlocked, overclockable as well. It comes up for $369.99. I would suggest that if you do more than gaming, such as video work or graphics work or anything uh, like that, uh, where you would need it. Otherwise, it doesn't really do too much of a push for uh, most gamers. Or uh, you can really uh, pump up the graphics later on if you SL on the two GTX 980 Ti's. Uh, if you really want to go to 4K, for example, and that would uh, set you back another $629.99. But also note that you should, if you're planning on doing this, pump up your power supply to at least an 850 watt, uh, such as the uh, same version of power supply, the 850 watt version, which is $119.99. Uh, if you want to get this cooler instead of the Hyper 212 Evo, uh, this is a liquid CPU cooler. Uh, this Corsair Hydro Series H100i, uh, version 2 edition out now. Uh, extreme, uh, sorry, uh, it provides kind of a more uh, unique, uh, you know, it, it's, it, it's not, it cools a little better, um, but it also provides, uh, you know, more customized cooling so you can customize the fans. The software that comes with it is really cool. And uh, it's all in, in encapsulated, so it's a liquid cooling that you don't really have to do much with. You just install it and it's good to go. It's around $2.99. Uh, like I said, if uh, you think the 250 gigabyte SSD is enough space, you can get a very fast one terabyte one. This one's even faster. SanDisk Extreme Pro, uh, 960 gigabyte or one terabyte uh, SSD. This is $349.99, so quite a jump from the $85 or so dollar uh, one we included above. 
All right, now moving on. Uh, here we have the $1,000 build for March 2016. Very similar to the twenty-five, uh, the $1,500 build, but uh, you'll see the differences in a second. So the processor we have is the Intel Core i5-6600K, 24999. The cooler, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, 2974. The motherboard we have is a scaled-down version of the one above. This is the Gigabyte uh, GA Z170X Gaming 3, and that's $138.99. And then you can see here you have two choices of graphics cards, not both. You choose either of these. Uh, so the first one we have, we have is the GeForce GTX 970, 289.99, or a NR9390, 314.99. So they're roughly the same price, and they generally come in to be about the same price. Uh, my suggestion usually is if you're just going to want to max out games at 1080p, no problem, just go with the GTX 970. But if you want to dabble into uh, um, higher resolutions, such as 2560 by 1440 or 1440p, um, you'd be better off going with the R9 390 due to its uh, due to more memory on the card. Uh, so that would be my kind of generalized suggestion between if you want to if you're choosing between one or the other. Uh, RAM we have this Crucial Ballistic Sport D R4 8 gigabyte kit, two four gigabyte sticks, forty four ninety nine uh, hard drive. What we have here is this one's not included in the cost. Just like the fifteen hundred dollar build, we have just. Including the cost is the SSD. I would suggest getting the SSD first if you can't afford both. But uh, the Samsung, 8, Samsung 850 Evo 250 gigabyte, $87. Or if you want a little more space, or you can just get this one if you want. But I do suggest getting the SSD, the Seagate one terabyte uh, hard disk drive, $49.99. And so what you could do is use the SSD as the boot drive, and this one is your storage drive. Uh, power supply: We have EVGA Supernova 650G1, $72.99. And for the case. We have uh, this Fantech Anthro Pro, uh, black case, $69.99, and this build does come out to under $1,000 this month, $983.68. Just like the other build, some suggestions if you want to upgrade in the future or now, you can add a 500 gigabyte SSD. This one's a little cheaper than the, or quite a bit cheaper than the one I suggest in the $1,500 build, but it's not as fast. But it's the scaled up, or it's the bump up uh, storage version of the one included in the build. Uh, and this one is for 149 500 gigabyte Samsung 850 Evo. Uh, you could get a better uh, graphics card um, for not much more. If you're really serious about 1440p, um, this would be the card to get because it'll, it'll max out pretty much any game at 1440p. Um, and that's, that's the uh, R939X for 369 99 or if you want in the future to pump up your graphics, just buy another one of the, either the cards that you choose. You can go with the, either uh, Crossfire with two of these R9 390s or uh, SLI with two GTX 970s. And, or you can uh, change the cooling if you want to go with liquid cooling instead, uh, more of a customized cooling experience, such as this Corsair Hydro Series H80i GT, $89.99 instead of the $29.74 cooling on Hydro Tutorial. Now we're going to move on to the very final build. This is kind of the catch-all build for those. Here we go. Uh, that one is pretty much this game at 1080p, no problem. It's kind of the, it is the the cheaper of the builds, but this is kind of probably the build I think most people do lean towards, especially first-time builders, as it will pretty much it'll do really good in a game at 1080p. Um, but here, let's get started with the $600 build for March 2016. The processor AMD FX 8320. Unlocked processor, $129.99. Uh, it's at a pretty good price right now. It does get a little lower, but it also fluctuates a little higher sometimes, but that's what it's at right now. Motherboard we have is the Asus M5A97 R2 uh, edition, uh, $94.99. And the graphics card, uh, we have this XFX double dissipation R9380 card, $179.99. Uh, it gives like kit of DDR3 RAM, two uh, four gigabyte sticks uh, for $32.99. And in this build, we use uh, the hard disk drive, so the Seagate one terabyite hard disk drive, $49.99, uh, not an SSD, but you could bump it up to an SSD if you have a little more to spend. A power supply, EVGA 600 v one uh, bronze edition, 600 watts, so $44.99. And then the case we have this one, there's actually a pretty slick case for the $600 build, but we have the Corsair uh, Paralyte Series 200 r $54.99. This build does come in under uh, $600. We have a it's at 587.93 right now at the beginning of March. And just like the belts, uh, some alternatives should you want to upgrade. You could get a uh, liquid, or actually, sorry, I didn't mention this, so the uh, CPU cooler does come with a stock cooler. But once you start overclocking, uh, you might want to get a better cooler because it tends to get quite hot. 
And so you could go with this uh, Corsair Hydro Series H55 liquid CPU for $59.99 over and above the build cost, or you could get also get a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, which is only $29.74. Uh, if you want to bump up the graphics a little bit with a better graphics card, here's a, a suggestion for you the Radeon R9 3 x uh, 229 or if you want a better motherboard to take further advantage of overclocking or uh, one that has more features on it, uh, this could be an option here, this Gigabyte 990FX, um, or $149.99. Or like I said, the build does not come with an SSD, so the Samsung 850 Evo 20 gigabyte is quite affordable at $69, but the trade-off is the actual storage capacity, whereas this is one terabyte, but not as quick in terms of boot and load times. Alright, that does it for the three builds, and I usually choose those three builds because they encapsulate a lot what most gamers are building. You have the build that goes almost up to 4K, the one that will max out into 2560 by 1440, and then the build that pretty much does it does pretty well at 1080p. So that is kind of the realm of all builds, in my opinion. Uh, but there are the extremes or the ones that want to get a little cheaper to get below. But though that that would be my starting point, um, or my opinion, anyhow. That's why I do these three builds every month. Uh, so, but come check out the site at noobcomputerbuild.com. Uh, there is an aside to this. Uh, we have the gaming PC build, uh, mice, keyboards, and monitor, monitors article, a peripherals article. Since those aren't included, uh, if you don't have them, uh, you'll need them in your builds. But um, I do have suggestions for those as well. Also remember, you need an operating system. I do uh, list a few suggestions here and what they're priced at. But they're the usual ones that you have to buy, such as Windows 8.1, Windows 7, or Windows 10, up to you. There are free uh, operating systems out there, such as the CMOS or uh, Ubuntu. Um, which are free to download and free to install. Anyways, uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment or visit the site. And until next month, have fun building.